Yeah, so today we've got Wacky Wednesday um, karaoke, um, where I do free food. People are struggling trying to make ends meet and I suppose they feel down sometimes so when we have these karaoke days have a good day instead of sitting maybe worrying and getting depressed on the, the state of how they're living. I used to work as a cleaner in my son's old school. My son then got poorly, which I had to give up work to look after him. I am now his full-time carer. I came to Rill to be closer to my family. I um, ended up in the Westminster Hotel. Um, I came there on the 31st of July last year, and I'm still there now. The living in a hotel, you have to eat out all the time. I've had help from the food bank, and it shouldn't be happening in this day and age. The hardest thing is not being able to give my children what they need, and it's the basic thing, like being able to close your own front door. And well, that's the basic human rights for anybody, just to be safe and secure. And they don't feel safe and secure. And I don't feel safe and secure. I just feel like I'm letting them down. And there's nothing that I can do about it. There's a really big crisis in Rill at the moment with people just struggling on, on the breadline, really. With the new switch over to universal credits, that we get clients that are just without food for long periods of time, really. There's no money. The number is just staggering. From January this year, we're averaging between six and eight parcels a day. They can be working families, they could be individual people on benefits. It's just literally hit everyone. It's, just, it's a scary, scary situation that we're living in, that people are just left to, to rot, basically. Hello, Mr. Vangas, your parcel. Oh, thank you very kind of you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So I, uh, I had a, a, when I was in Manchester, I had a, a job at, in a car warehouse, and I was there for 33 years. But uh, unfortunately, I got made redundant. Um, but I did manage to get a job in Stratford uh, Job Centre cleaning. Um, and then my sister and husband asked me if I wanted to come down to Wales, and that's how I've ended up down here, really. Just, that's, uh, I suppose I should have stopped in Manchester, really. <laughs> Used up a big portion of my savings, you see, so, and, and then they just seemed to dwindle away. And so that's why I'm stuck in the situation. When I lost the caravan, I didn't have anywhere to go, so I had to uh, just get on the bus and come down to the centre of Rill, really, and just hang about, really. Um, I've been there about four months. I went to the job fair today in the town hall. So I left a few CVs with a few of them and, and hopefully I might get some contact back. I'm always hopeful, I don't, I don't, I don't get depressed. But hopefully I will get a job and uh, I can start building again then, you see. Get, get like you say, get back together. Start again. 
Good morning, Campion Sales Alliance. We help people with their financial budgeting. We're also loans. And do you have a password on your account? We thrive off ensuring that our members have low interest um, loans and that financially they are stable enough to repay back a loan. Every few months they would come back and say, actually, I just need a little top up of £50, as little as that, to go and do a food shop. I've had to pay out an awful lot this month on bills and everything, so I've had to just try and see me through. Sorry? Just starting your work, how are you getting on with it? Yeah, it's okay, I'm loving it and everything, but um, the money I'm getting, the bills are coming in, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? It's making me think, to be honest, to go back on the blooming door. Lovely, thank you. When the job centre got him the job, he had to do the four weeks as like a trial period, so he wasn't being paid for that. And then once that trial period was over, he then had to work another month in advance for his new company before he got paid. So that's two months with nothing. When I was first started, before I got paid, I was working every day, but I wasn't eating. I couldn't afford it. And I've had to go into the Cambrian today. I've got two weeks left before payday just to borrow a hundred pound so that I can have 50 pound this week and 50 pound next week to keep me going. I don't feel as though I'm Actually getting there now, I feel as though I've come to a, up the ladder, stopped, and everything is pushing me back down it now, if you understand what I mean. I, I don't feel as though I can get any further, and that's worrying me, worrying me terribly. Now, what can we do?